I'm gonna scoop out your brain and eat your eyeballs. Hey, Peaky Pudding. I'm gonna scoop out your brain and eat your eyeballs. Master Dave, if I've done anything to offend you... Oh, no, no, it's the name of a horror film. Oh. It's part of a horror night on digital. Oh. I'm gonna scoop out your brain and eat your eyeballs, followed by the zombie electrician and blood disco. It's gonna be mental. Master Dave, as a responsible adult fox, I have to say you are far too young to be watching films like that. <laughs> However, as a fox who loves horror flicks, I say... Bring on the gore! Yeah, but personally, yeah. I don't like horror films. All that screaming, nasty things lurking in the corner, a constant threat of danger. Yeah, you get enough of that in your own kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> What are you doing, Mr. Stephen? I'm practicing my evil face. I'm going for an audition as a villain tomorrow. <laughs> oh, they must be hard up. You, a villain. <laughs> I make a very good villain, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> so, Mr. Brush, we meet again! You will not escape me this time, 007! <laughs> Double oh dear me, more like. I've been more scared watching the Teletubbies. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think there's been a mix-up. I've been waiting for a parcel, but I got this address to Basil instead, and it stinks. Ooh, well, I am sorry. No, I mean it literally stinks here. Smell. Oh. Blimey, that really honks. Ah, uh, I know what this'll be. Uh, open it up, Mr. Stephen. Go on, go on, go on. Do I have to? Yeah, come on, help me out. <laughs> it's cheese. Yeah, and not just any old cheese. This is a vintage cheddar, eh? And it's from an old friend of mine who runs the smelliest cheese farm in Somerset. <laughs> so, uh, have you got my parcel? Oh, mm. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I've joined a book club. Oh, is that where books go to hang out? <laughs> so what's this one about, then? It's an encyclopedia of dreams. Whatever dream you have, this book will tell you exactly what it means. For instance, Stephen, what was the last dream you had? <laughs> Stephen, it made me the happiest girl alive. <laughs> Can't remember. And uh, what about you, Basil? Oh, I never dream, Miss Ella. My life is so exciting, so dramatic, I don't need to. Hi, everyone. Oh, what is that smell? Someone sent Basil some cheese in the post. Hate mail, was it? Boy. <laughs> anyway, are we ready to let the horror commence? What's this? Oh, Master Dave and I are planning a big horror film extravaganza. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Stephen don't like horror films. He gets all scared. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I've just got a nervous disposition, that's all. Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are we taking the mickey out of Stephen for being a scaredy cat? <laughs> I am not a scaredy cat. Boo! <laughs> Is it Mr. Stephen? No, no, no. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, you're such a girl. Oi! That's offensive to girls. I'm worried about you kids. I mean, we just don't know the long term effects of watching scary movies. I know the short term effects. I'm starving. Uh, I think I'm going to eat my special cheese. 
Oh no, not that horrible smelly thing. Go on, Mom. Go and fetch it for me. Go on, grab it. Okay. But I'm going prepared. Isn't it a bit late to be eating cheese? Why? Is it going out of fashion? No. But you know what they say? Cheese before bed gives you nightmares. That, Mr. Stephen, is an old wife's tale. How do you know? The old wife told me. <laughs> that is one serious poem. Ah. Mm. Uh, right. Who wants a slice? Not me. I can't stand the smell. Right, I'm off to bed. <laughs> Me two. Me three. But, Master Dave, we've still got four more horror movies to watch yet. That stinks enough horror for me. I'm off. Ah, oh, go on then. See if I care. All the more cheese for me then. <laughs> and if it gives you nightmares, don't blame us. Pa! Nightmares. <laughs> right, Mr. Cheese? Time you and I got down to business. <laughs> 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 oh, what a lot of cheddar. <laughs> well, that's warm me up, that is. <laughs> Time for bed. <laughs> and now, on Horror Night, an old classic. Drink the blood of Dracula. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I'll well, we'll just stay for a couple more hours. <laughs> and then I'll... And then I'll... Uh, then I'll... It was just a clock striking. <laughs> and if you saw the amount clocks get paid round here, you'd strike as well. <laughs> God, it's a bit creepy, oh, this, isn't it? Oh, oh. Mr. Stephen, are you playing that BBC sound effects tape again? <laughs> Mr. Stephen? Oh, blimey! Has Michael Jackson been in and redecorated while I was asleep? <laughs> you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say I was in one of those low-budget horror films. <laughs> but the writers would never do that. It would be terribly contrived and lazy. We can't put him in a horror film because it'd be terribly contrived and lazy. Uh, yeah, but it's nearly five o'clock. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> a horror film, eh? Oh, wait till Mr. Stephen hears about this. <laughs> Hello, Basil. Oh, oh, cool. Mr. Stephen, you shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. You nearly turned my brush white. Is everything all right? Well, no, as it happens, I think I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> Which probably means that you're not Mr. Stephen, but you're just some horrible, scary monster from my imagination. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Stephen? <laughs> Mr. Stephen? <laughs> You're pudding, I beg. <laughs> Welcome to my castle! Uh, it's a flat. Castle. Flat. Castle. Flat. Okay, castle, but it's not important. Yeah, quite right. The important thing is... Why are you dressed as a waiter? <laughs> I am Count Stephen of Transylvania! me thinking you were unemployed, Stephen, of this flat. Silence! Oh, Stop it. Please, accept my apologies. Can I get you anything? Perhaps a drink? No thanks. Of blood. Definitely not, then. Or perhaps... Ibad. <gasps> Still all cheesed up, ta. Ibad. <laughs> In the jugular! Hey, 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 hey! Hang on. Shouldn't you have big vampire teeth in? Oh, good point. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's better. Uh, 
Where were we? You were just about to bite me. <laughs> oh, this is getting to be a pain in the neck. I'm off. <laughs> Right, where was I? <laughs> oh, yes! Trapped in my own horror film. It was my own fault. I should never have eaten the cheese. I'm scared. And in case nobody ever sees me again, I'd like to pass a message on. Help! <laughs> oh, well. At least I should be safe here at Daniel's Caff, as long as I don't eat the fish. <laughs> what was that? About my fish! Who said that? It is I, Dr. Frankenstein. So, what brings you to my laboratory? My feet. <laughs> you called Master? No, he called Enil, me called Bezel. What you called? Ignore him, Igor. Everybody else does. Igor, blimey. Did he fall out of the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down? Why? That's very rude. Oh, don't get the hump. <laughs> oh, I'm leaving. This is too weird, even for a talking fox. <laughs> Phew. Oh, this nightmare's exhausting. If I wasn't already asleep, I'd have a kip. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, help! The viewers! Oh, oh, I'm done for! Hi, oh. Basil. Oh, 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 oh. Miss Ella. So, which horror film character are you then? I don't know what you're talking about, Basil. I'm just me, Ella. Oh no. That means you're that naive, innocent girl who's always the first one to get grabbed by the ghosts and ghoulies. <gasps> Leave it. <laughs> you want to tell me what you're talking about, you crazy fox? Oh, I ate a lump of cheese and now I'm having a nightmare. Oh, huh, groovy. What does it say in your encyclopedia about seeing vampires and mad scientists? Eh? It says you've eaten too much cheese. Yeah, all right, don't rub it in. <laughs> What does it say about me seeing you in a rabbit costume? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> it was worth it just to see what you look like. <laughs> Can I get out of this now? Certainly. We mustn't keep rabbiting on. <laughs> Time is bunny. <laughs> I mean, money. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Thank you. Now, listen. You'd better stick with me, as the glue said to the people. Mr. Stevens has gone very strange. <laughs> he tried to bite my neck. He's tried to do that to me before. To be honest, it was more of a nibble. Yes, but he tried to drink my blood. <laughs> I think he's one of the undead. You mean he's joined the Rolling Stones? Well, I do the jokes around here, love, all right? <laughs> oh, come on. And be quiet. We don't want him to catch us. <laughs> Oh, hold me, Michel. I'm scared. Well, don't be silly, Basil. It's only a nightmare. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> what was that you were seeing? I'm not really scared. I've read about this. It's just nerve endings in my brain telling me to scream. <laughs> cool. They've got a nerve. <laughs> got a nerve. Get it. Shh. What? What's that down there? Yikes! It's a c c c c coffin. No, I'm just stuttering, actually. <laughs> No, it looks like Mr. Stevens has been to Ikea again and bought us a coffin table. <laughs> coffin table. Hit it. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> See, it proves it. Mr. Stevens a vampire. Now, oh, come on. Let's get out of here, Miss Ella. <laughs> Miss Ella. <laughs> Miss Ella, don't tell me you've become a vampire as well. Well, 
Well, if you don't want me to, but frankly, that sort of attitude is just very vampish. Oh, well, I am sorry. <laughs> I suppose you want to bite me now, then? Yes, please. <laughs> well, in that case, stick it up your fangs, bat girl. <laughs> So glad you could join me. <gasps> oh, my cape's stuck in the gears again. Could you give us a hand? Come here. Honestly, you should get this thing fixed. Yeah? Will you try getting a coffin mechanic out of this time of night? Well, I'm just saying it's not very impressive, is it? Oh, you are always so critical. Oi, 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 oi. Excuse me when you two have quite finished. Sorry. <laughs> Where are we? We're going to bite the fox. Ah, oh, yes! After all, Jamie Oliver does recommend we eat more basil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're just deliberately misunderstanding for the sake of a bad joke. Yeah, like you never do that. <laughs> oh, you're much more catty since you became undead. <laughs> Prepare to die, Basil. <laughs> you are doomed. Do you hear me? <laughs> oh, yes, I heard you the first time. <laughs> Why does everyone always repeat themselves in this nightmare? <laughs> Hang on. If this is a nightmare, it doesn't matter if you bite me or not, does it? Are you prepared to take that a risk? <laughs> All right, then. But you've got to catch me first, big teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey, this looks like it, viewers. Basil Brush gets it in the neck. <laughs> I'm too scared to even boom, boom. <laughs> Can nobody save me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop right there, vampire scum. <laughs> I am the fearless vampire hunter, Professor Van Hire. Van Hire? Shouldn't that be Van Helsing? Yes, I am like him, but I can also rent you a transit van. There's my card. <laughs> Good to have a sideline. <laughs> so, creatures of darkness, back! Actually, I'm not very religious. No, me neither. Whoa! Oh, it's no use, Miss Molly. Remember, they're actors. There's only one thing that will stop them. Here! What is it? A bad review of their performances. Read it out. The acting is wooden. Oh! It's working. Keep going. The characterization of vampires is weak and unrealistic. Oh, oh this is so unfair. Oh, the critics do not understand the subtleties of this piece. That should hold them for a while. I know just the thing to defeat vampires. Garlic bread. Could we just use garlic? Well, garlic bread's much nicer. <laughs> Quick, make some then. I think the review is wearing off. Ah! Hey, they say the makeup looks really good. Yeah, that is something. Ella, mm -hmm. tell me honestly, do you think I've got a wide face? God <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, bless me. I'll never get this finished in time. Oh. Oh, Basil, do you want a hand? God bless me. It's celebrity chef Ross Burden. How did you get in? Well, I forced the lock, of course. Oh. OK. Now, a bit of garlic bread. We need some parmesan, we need some parsley, we need some mozzarella... Oi, 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 oi! Who's making this? Me or you, Mush? I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, if you want to help, pass me that wooden spoon, would you? There you go. Oi! Now, clear off! Go on, hop it! Get out of my Grateful kitchen! vermin! Go on, get lost! Hey, You haven't even washed your hands, you filthy <laughs> bigger! <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can, Miss Molly. <laughs> Not if you can go me, you know. <laughs> OK. First, get your bread. <laughs> Molly, 
Have we got any bread? Any now, Basil? <laughs> Just putting it in the oven now, Miss Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, gas mark six, Basil. <laughs> Neff off. <laughs> Basil! Get out of it, vampire scum! <laughs> That's my geranium! Stephen, <laughs> that's supposed to be scary. Forget the geranium. <laughs> Sorry. Who's fond of fences up now? <laughs> Miss Molly, the garlic bread's ready. <laughs> God, you're going to get it now, you vampires. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say, Miss Molly, you know what would go well with this? <laughs> Steak. Boom, <laughs> <laughs> boom. <laughs> I'm afraid it's too late. Basil. <laughs> They got to you as well, Miss Molly. Could this get any worse? Uh? Cracky! <laughs> <laughs> Why not become a vampire? It's so easy and so good for dinner parties. <laughs> uh, not you as well. <laughs> Don't forget <laughs> me. <laughs> and uh, us, Basil. <laughs> Why not become one of us? <laughs> oh no! Cracked. Well, this is it. The end. And to think, only yesterday, the only heartless bloodsucker I knew was my agent. What's happening? No vampires? Flat back how it was? Well, what do you know? It was all a dream. Who's eating all the cheese? <laughs> We're going to miss kickoff if we don't finish. Um, all right. Um, he wakes up. It was all a dream. The end. That'll do. The next morning, and everyone is back to normal. Well, normal by their standards, which is pretty weird. And you were there, Mr. Stephen. And you were there, and you were there, and you were there, and you were there, and you... You weren't there. Who are you? Me? Sorry, someone had forced the lock. I just, um, walked in. But, uh, thanks for the tea. Gotta go. Bye. 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 Only you could fit all that into one nightmare, Basil. Well, I did eat a lot of cheese. <laughs> I'm giving up on this book. Last night has proved that there are some dreams that you'll just never understand. Yeah, too right. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very pleased you're not a vampire, Mr. Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> a vampire? Yeah. How ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so silly. Crazy. Yeah, everyone knows Stephen's a werewolf. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> hey, bigger pudding. <laughs> well, Mr. Stephen, that was quite a show. <laughs> Dreaming you were all vampires and finding out you're actually a werewolf. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. God, anyway, time for sleep. <clears throat> you're all right down there, Mr. Stephen. <laughs> you know, viewers, I sometimes think this show has gone to the dogs. Or should I say, wolves. <laughs> 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 <laughs>